So this part of this part of the graph is the picture is very blurry, and the signs are also blurry. So I'm hoping that this is this is minus and this is this looks like plus. Okay, but again, I'm gonna give you a basic idea. I'm not sure about the sign, but this is how it will be. So when you graph, when you graph two functions, right? So I mean, I mean, just simply, I mean, you don't even need to find a graph actually, but if you graph it, it will be, you know, easily uh, visible, the point of intersection. So, so these are two parabolas and these two parabola may intersect, you know, they, they may intersect like this, you, or they may simply just intersect like that, right? You may have a one point or they may not intersect at all. So we just have to set them each equal to each other. Whenever they intersect, they're gonna have same y values. So we're just gonna set them to each other. So two x squared minus three x plus four equal to x squared plus five x. But assuming that I copy the signs correctly, uh, hopefully I did. Um, Okay, so then I'm just gonna subtract x squared first, and this will give me an x squared minus three x plus four equal five x plus three, and then I'm gonna subtract five x from both sides. This is gonna cancel that, so x squared minus eight x, and then subtract three. So four minus three is plus one, that equals zero. And then we solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula, so solve for x solution exists, then you're going to have two intersection points, which I can compute b squared minus 4ac first, and that is negative 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1, which is 64 minus 4 equals 60, and that's a positive number. So solution exists, and you're going to have two solutions here. So just plug them into the formula. So negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. That's positive eight plus minus, and this is root 60 divided by two. So you have the x values. This are the x values. So you have two of them, positive 60 divided by two and minus and divided by two. So these two x values are going to be the co x coordinate of the intersection. So the first coordinate is going to be this and the second coordinate Sorry, this is the x value. So you don't know what the y value, you're gonna compute this y value by plugging this into one of the equation. So it doesn't look like I copied the sign correctly because square root of six doesn't sound like something that, that will be nice to plug it in. But like I said, I'm just giving you a basic idea. So this divided by two, and then you're gonna have y coordinate computed by plugging the x coordinate into one of this equation, doesn't matter which one. Hopefully this happens.